All right, guys, so I'm back out in Maple City with Jerry. Today, we're picking up a 1952 sedan, you said it was? Yeah, Chevy. Well, how long has it been in this barn? Since, Since 75 or 76. Awesome, let's open up this door, see what we got to move. We got the Bobcat, so anything in the way, we're going to get it out of here. Let me shove that ahead. I don't know if you can lift all this. Try it all at once at first. No, hell no. This is heavy. I don't know what you're going to do about tires on this. Yeah, right. First little glimpse of it. I haven't even seen it. Of it. Whoa, we're getting a look at it. And hey, roll your forks back first. Oh, oh, oh no. Drag it up, yeah. Okay, wow. Vintage stucco, So we got all the stuff out of the way and now we got the car and we finally got to see it. First time the sun has hit it in how many years, Jerry? Hang on, when you're talking, say 76. It's almost 50 years in here. Yeah. And it shows. It's got some dirt on it. What's the story behind the car? My dad bought a house in Grand Rapids. This was in the garage. He bought it on a tax sale and we went down there to clean the place out so he could sell it. I went down with a truck and trailer with a winch yeah. on it and brought it back. I got it started, drove it around the building a little bit and drove it down here and parked her in. It's been sitting ever since, yep. huh? I'm excited to clean it up and see what hides under this dirt and see you know, what condition it's in now. Well, it definitely took its toe in this concrete floor in the back of this bull barn. Yeah, they usually do, sitting for so long. The air in the tires, get her out of here and get her on the trailer. Need light. This one's going up. I'm surprised the tires took air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I got so much dirt in my eyes just now. All right, where are you at? Where am I going? Are the t tires rolling? Yeah, she's rolling. Twenty, twenty-five hundred. She's trying. She's trying. Oh my God, car shot. These are the straps for this gas tank right there. The gas tank is no bueno. So we're back at the shop. We got the 52 here. One of the wheels are locked. But coming off isn't going to be as easy because the winch only goes one way. We got a van over there to pull the car out of the trailer now. Pull it a little. It's moving. All right, give her a good. Get go, get it. <laughs> the old van's giving her the beans. It's just because the one stuck wheel is in that little dip. You're good. You're out of it. Keep it going a little. Oh, wait, hold up. The wheel turned all the way, but now she should be all right. Keep it coming. Don't break my wood. Oh, it's all good. It's just breaking my trailer. And it's good. All right, bring her down. Good. All right, we got the deluxe off of the trail. Got some skates under the wheel. Back wheel's locked up, so now it's easier to move around the shop as we work on it. So now that we got the car in the shop, uh, let's look it over, open up the doors, pop this hood, see what's under there. I'm sure this hood has never been popped since 76, so I'm, I'm curious what's underneath of it. Come on. Come on, mate. Yeah. All right, so we got the motor pop. Looks like it's just a straight six. No air cleaner on there. Uh, what's pretty cool, right here there's like this channel that comes, comes right down into the cab. There's a lever inside that you could pull. You pull the lever and it blows the air that's coming into the car right into the cab, which was air conditioning back in the day. All right, let's see what's inside the trunk. We've been getting lucky with the trunks and they've been clean and they've been having brand new spare wheels. Let's hope that's the case here. Ah. Holy sh**. I've, uh, I've never seen a rat's nest as big as this rat's nest in this car right now. That is huge. Just a pile, dude.
Uh, the spare wheel, not as nice as the other wheels we've had in the other cars. Now that we looked under the hood and the trunk, let's check out the interior. Got some mold here and there, mostly white mold, but this seat, if this is, which it is, I'm pretty sure original, uh, it's in awesome condition. The back seat's all in great shape. Door panels is all in good shape. A Little bit of rust on the floor, that's for sure, so the seat's not even really attached. For the exterior of this car, as you can see, it's been sitting in a barn since 76, so this 48 years of dirt and uh, grime sitting on it. Also, at some point, this car must have been in an accident because the front fenders, there are some paint peeling and it used to be blue. Uh, I don't see that anywhere else on the car, but it must have been in a front end collision at some point in its life. So enough said, let's get into the detail.
All right, so I got the 52 Chevy all washed up. The fenders have been repainted and they're not in that great of condition as you can see. And when this car was parked, I think it was driven in the winter first because if you could tell by the back tires, it has snow tires on it still. You'll see a lot with these old cars, they have snow tires on the back like that that are super aggressive because that's how you had to run them back in the day. But that's an indicator right there that this car was driven in the winter and then parked, which I could tell because there's some salt crystallizing on the bottom before washing and also it's just really rusty in the spots where salt would have been sitting. At least that's my theory and I'm gonna stick to it. So I'm gonna start polishing all the paint and the chrome. I'm gonna start from the back half where the paint's better on the car and then I'm gonna polish it all the way to the front and then after we're done polishing it, we're gonna get taken care of the chrome and then after the chrome, we'll get onto the interior and see what's going on in there. Oh my gosh. So by the looks of it, the seat has rusted through the floor, so I don't need to unbolt it. Hopefully I could just grab it and pull it right on out of here. I don't know what this seat's got against me, man. I forgot. This is how you properly remove a seat. All right, so I got the seat out of here and I look underneath and I could see a hole in the frame. Several spots on this car where there's holes in the frame, so really this car is shot. No possible way it's really gonna go back on the road. The owner said that he doesn't want anything to do with this car anymore, so we're not gonna deliver it back to him and we're not gonna reveal it to him. I did end up purchasing the car off of him and I'm just not even gonna mess with this interior this week. So I think next week we'll jump into this interior because there's a lot more work than I uh, anticipated for. There's mold everywhere in here. And honestly, a lot of it doesn't deserve to be clean but a lot of it's in good condition like the door panels and the seat the steering wheel and all the dash if I end up selling or parting out this car I want to make sure everything's in its best condition I might put this body on top of a mud truck frame and put it on some 40s or something like that because that's just who I am let me know what you guys think I should do with this car and I'll catch you guys next week on the interior mm -hmm.